Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to do my week one check-in for my cash envelopes for the month of February. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. Thank you all to my new subscribers and to everybody who keeps returning um, and have been supporting me since I first started on YouTube. I appreciate you all so much. Um, trying to get my thoughts together. Let's go with my purchases. Where did I spend my money this week? Um, so I spent a broken tin for laundry. And then at Walmart, I spent $4.78 in personal and $19.79 in household and $23.35 in groceries. And at Aldi, I spent $41.63 in groceries. So this is one transaction for me at Walmart, and then I break down my receipt when I get home. Um, you may have thought I got those wipes. No, <laughs> I totally forgot about them. Um, I was even looking in that direction because I was checking out the display, but I forgot about them. And so I've been trying the dishwashing detergent thing on them. First time I tried it, yeah, I made a mess. But the second time, I got it. I got it right so I've been doing good with that um, so let's document my expenses for the week so see for the laundry I spent ten dollars and that was a hair raising time luckily I got there earlier they're normal some crazy man came in and was giving Miss Ann a rough time so personal I spent four dollars and seventy eight cents. So I ended up having to call the police um, to get him out of there because I'm like the distance between me to him and her to him, they were closer together, and he just flipped out on her for no reason. Um, household nineteen seventy nine. I'll give her credit; she was not backing down though. Because my thoughts were, Miss Ann, lock that door. <laughs> Protect yourself. But she was, mm -mm, he was cussing at her. She wasn't cussing, but she was just not taking no crap off of him. And we had no clue where he came from. But luckily, you know, the police weren't far off, so they, I guess they found him. Because he never came back. So groceries, twenty three thirty five, forty one sixty three. For a total of sixty-four dollars and ninety-eight cents, how have your, how have, how has your work, your weather been? Um, we got so much ice around here. All the trees have been snapping, or at least the pine trees have been snapping. It's been interesting because I think my apartment, a branch hit right off my son's bedroom and scared us all really scared me because they were just looking like <laughs> what's the noise so let's see let me do my math so I wrote down my totals and stuff right here so I know what I began with um, that's always rough for me at the beginning of the month so I just put that on a post-it so I started off with groceries having $300 I spent $64.98 which was less than my budgeted amount of 75 and so I should have 235 it's 23502 I'm doing math right here sorry y'all see work has got me got me crazy <laughs> I don't know how long we're gonna be working like this um, it, oh, it depends on the states that have different laws and stuff like that but I've got to I'm doing the employee app and so we're working on that so that's my side of the project 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 30 1 2 3 4 5 235 so we got california done 235 and we just got to get we're working on washington and trying to make sure that it fits both California and Washington and the develop the front end just parses it out depending on who 
logged in who's using it all that good stuff so yeah it's a lot of a lot of work there so restaurants 2040 so I'm still gonna have I'm saying all of that just to say that it's gonna be another probably six to eight weeks of me working like this um, and I'll be able to if you have a channel I'll be able to check out your channel on the weekends and so it's not that I forgot it's just gonna take me a minute to get to it because I'm gonna be working 12 to it did I go on to the right one 12 to oh I did sorry I'm looking here 12 to uh, 13 hour days throughout the week so laundry I uh, started out with let me put that here $50 I spent 10 so I should have 40 and I do 20 40 but yeah but so far everything's been going well um, project with the contractor oh, I just turned it over to my manager because <laughs> I just can't <laughs> I just can't right now um, household started out with 50 I spent 1979 and hopefully with my manager talk, you know constantly staying on him he'll do right and everything is straightening itself out so it's thirty dollars and 21 cents so it's thirty dollars is what I should have left so it's 20 30 so and I take all my change and I just keep it all in one spot so when I go into the store I do try to use my change at that time so I may take some of the quarters out, put it with the laundry money or, you know, like with the bag money that I need or the basket money, you know, like when I go to Aldi. So I do have my change here, but I just go in here and use it and spend it at the stores instead of holding on to it. Uh, personal. I started out with 50. I spent 478. I should have about 45 bucks. But yeah. So that's the work side of things. We did have a meeting with our new director and um, she doesn't have any news as far as us returning to work. And so it was more like an introductory thing and she was just letting us know if she needed, if we needed to talk. You see, I put that change on there when I don't deal in change. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Where did I put my white out? See, messing up because I'm talking too much. Is this a good one or the bad one? Okay. And so I should have 45 of my personal. And pull out of here. 5, 20, 45. Sorry, my phone is on. I should have turned that off. I normally do, so I apologize for that. So I have everything I'm supposed to have as far as my cash envelopes. I did it up here too. See, I'm just on a roll of messing up today. It's too early, y'all. There. Now I don't need that posted anymore. So I'm going to divide this off so that way you guys can see the difference between the weeks and my transactions next time. But yeah, I was um I finally got to see the video of them getting that gorilla glue out of that lady's hair, and I was like, thank you, Lord. Uh, Cause I saw her jumping when they tried to use that um, was it acetone on her hair, and she jumped so hard I had a, a chemical burn flashback, and I was like, oh, she's in pain. That was um, very sad. I should have wrote those dates over some so I had some room. Um, but yeah, that'll now I could just write week two underneath here. So. See, I want to put that here, just so 
but leave it alone. <laughs> leave it alone. We gotta move on. I can uh, take care of that later. Um, but yeah, I was very, very happy that that guy, that the plastic surgeon, the doctor, uh, he figured that out and he gave her that treatment for free. Um, I've done some stupid stuff, so. I haven't done that, but, you know, I've done some stupid stuff. So, rent, my rent check is cleared. My student loan payment has cleared. And my iCloud has cleared. And this is one of the things I'm really happy about. I learned how to control spending for my checking account. That's the one place I don't play. <laughs> uh, the cash envelopes, I have to monitor myself closely. But yeah, when it comes to my hair and stuff I used to do, the number of times I've gone into different shops and had horrible experiences with them relaxing my hair and and the pain that I was in. And, you know, I subjected myself to that. And I, I, I don't know, for some reason I can sympathize with her. You know, it's like you don't want no hair standing up and no none of this and none of that. And it's just such a deep-rooted thing that I guess it makes some people do some things that they, you know, if you were thinking clearly, you wouldn't do. So I was glad he got that out for her and she can go on because, you know, hopefully, hopefully she didn't damage her follicles. But hair grows back. Now, so I've been home. Been home this week, just working, just working. And I, you know, I shouldn't complain, because honestly, I'm thankful to have a job. And um, I did get this award thing. I didn't tell you guys because it's not fully, it's not vested yet. So it was. I got this award. What was it? I don't know the name or how to describe it, but there were so many shares of stock. And then over the next three years, I keep, I'm invested until I'm 100% after three years. So there, and I didn't have to pay for that stock. <laughs> so the worth, if I looked at the day that they gave it to me, it's about 60, 60,000. So I'm like, yeah, it makes these days where I'm working like this, you know, it makes it worth it. And I'm not saying that I just work for accolades and awards um, because nobody knew I was doing the PMP stuff but my manager. So it's just, it's nice to be appreciated to say that. Um, so here we are with our no spans. I got six this week. How many did I have last week? Is that a... Yeah, that's the first. Why well, I can't see it. I, I don't have my glasses on. That's why I can't see. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to laugh at myself. Um, So, that's six and six. So, I got 12 no spin days. And I think, like, you know, like, I think I've gotten accustomed to this. And y'all let me know what y'all think. I've gotten accustomed to not shopping on any day but Sunday. So, at some point... I may start to include a Sunday in my no spins and you know to make me be a little bit more um, planning meal planning because I watch you guys and you know some of you guys are really good at meal planning and things like that I suck at that and so that may go into my no spins at some point for a different month and I don't know if I can do that for March maybe that should be the challenge for March but y'all let me know what y'all think about that because I can do this I can stay home and just spend once a week, but can I do that and include a couple of Sundays into that no spend uh, challenge that I give myself? Because this month is 24 no spend days. It's getting a little easy because I'm adjusting to not going anywhere and not doing anything and on these days. But can I get some of these days? But who knows? So y'all, let me know what you think. How did your week go? How was your weather? Um, are you guys okay? Hopefully nobody's 
you know, it's snowed in or anything like that, and you're taking care of yourselves, and you guys have a super fantastic morning, afternoon, and evening. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, please do so. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.